From an investment philosophy perspective, we tend to look a little broader. So we tend to look at the below investment grade market. We have an opportunistic bent to us. We're looking to exploit dislocation that can be caused by a company specific event or it can be caused by an industry event. My goal as an analyst is to simply find undervalued securities. And oftentimes the way I do that is waiting for bonds to sell off either due to technical selling pressures or temporary fundamental pressures on the company. Ideally, we're looking for investments where you've got strong companies, where there could be a potential misstep, something that we think does not affect the credit worthiness of the company in the long term, we can take advantage of that. So we're looking for companies that have sustainable margins that generate consistent cash flows, and we're looking for companies that have a low cost structure and recurring revenue. A company that has a good business model is going to be able to grow its profits faster than the overall market, which is going to allow them to increase their profits and pay down debt faster than other companies in the space. The way we approach the market is far different than a lot of our competitors. We're bottoms up oriented, but we are much more focused in our portfolio and in our holdings. Previously, I've worked for more index type funds where we're looking at the whole market and just deciding if we want to be overweight or underweight relative to an index. Whereas our portfolio is much more best ideas. I think the other piece is we do have flexibility and higher degrees of freedom to go across cap structure, which allows us to take advantage of dislocations if they exist. If it's a cyclical business, we're looking for a company that has the lowest cost structure in the industry, and we'd like to identify a trough in the cycle. We believe in cycles. And when you believe in cycles, you've got to be aware of where you are on the cycle. There's a time when you can scale incrementally your risk up or down based on the market opportunities there. The automation stuff is actually worth If we talk about exploiting dislocations in the credit cycle, on a very high level, you have a broader credit cycle, which often will last close to a decade. But then if you peel the onion back, what you'll find out is there's often cycles within a cycle. We're looking for troughs in a cycle because it is an indicator to us that there could be a dislocation in the market. Typically, the high-yield market looks at earnings on a last 12 months basis. And so if we find a trough in a cycle, whether it be demand or supply driven, and we see pricing going higher or margins going higher, we can forecast that earnings will be going up and leverage coming down. And we're able to capitalize on those dislocations in the market where investors are pricing security based on the past, and we know that the reality is that leverage will be lower in the future. We are never chasing returns. We are trying to just look at credit day in and day out and make the right decision and not chase the benchmark. When a company underperforms expectations, fear tends to enter investors' minds. And when there's fear in the market, it's more of an emotional decision than a quantitative decision. And if we have the data to back up a thesis, we can invest in the face of fear that's in the market. Credit investing has an asymmetric risk profile. And when you're wrong, it's very costly. So avoiding the permanent capital impairments is paramount. And then I think it's selectively finding opportunities where you can get a research edge and taking advantage of opportunities where things are just clearly mispriced.